What is going on guys, it is Plucky here and today I'm coming at you with a brand new video and today I've actually decided to do a slightly different type of video so I'm going to be telling you guys the top 5 guns in Phantom Forces but just bear in mind that this is my opinion and obviously everyone has different opinions so this is just the best guns from my point of view I just decided to do this because I really like doing top 5s and you know I'm pretty sure you guys like watching them so just bear in mind that a lot of this depends on the player and what attachments you use on the gun so it really does vary but in the number 5 spot we've got the Famous and I really like this gun because the fire rate is just insane and it has really decent damage for the fire rate. It moves really well and it's just like it's one of the best weapons for medium range combat and it's really good for close range too just because of how good the fire rate is. The recoil is actually pretty easy to handle and it just feels so smooth. I really do recommend recommend you guys use this gun. You unlock it at rank 45 and that makes it really good because it isn't too high level. I mean it does take a while to get to that especially if you're kind of new to the game but it isn't ridiculously high like a lot of guns so I really do recommend the Famous. In the number 4 spot we have the M60 and I know what you guys are thinking. That gun's so scummy to use. It's such an awful gun to play against but sadly it is really OP. It's like if you use it right it can be one of the best guns in the game and I don't really think it's good to use it but it's really good so you unlock it at rank 0 by default and you always see those guests or new players using it. It's the sort of gun I just go to whenever I'm kind of a bit frustrated with the game and I kind of just want to relax and kill loads of people. A hundred bullets in the mag just makes it insane and the damage. It's 3 to 5 shot kill I think and the fire rate's just really high so Obviously, it's ultra overpowered and the recoil is pretty easy to handle. You can also make it ridiculously more overpowered using different attachments like the suppressor goes surprisingly well with it and a few of the grips. So, despite it being one of the worst guns to be killed by, it is a really good gun. In the number 3 spot, we have the BFG 50 and personally, this is my favourite gun. I use this all the time and I decided to rank this pretty highly because it's a sniper and it's one shot kill which just makes it really good. It does only have one bullet in the mag which is why it isn't in the number one spot but it's extremely accurate and the bolt cycle means you can actually get multi kills with it which is obviously a big thing in the sniping community. It's also one of the only snipers you can consistently trick shot with and one of the only ones you can get a body shot triple kill out with without fear of hit markering it all the time so it's actually a really good gun and I do recommend it. You unlock it at rank 65 so it can take a bit of a while but it really is worth it and it's definitely my favourite gun. I have about 16,000 kills with it so I kind of have no life but it's just such a great gun. In the number 2 spot I've decided to put my favourite automatic gun which is the MP7. I really like using this gun and it's definitely the best gun for close range maybe apart from like the shotguns but personally I think this is the best gun to use in stuff like Maul or Metro because the fire rate's ultra high and even though the damage isn't that good you can kill people really quickly with it and it's only rank 9 so you don't even need to play for long to unlock it and it's that good. I've hit an 11 man feed with it, I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen that and a lot of other people have hit really good stuff with it. I'm pretty sure it's one of the favourite guns of Synthesize OG and just so many people enjoy using it because it's really fun to use, the sound of it's nice and if you put the right attachments on it, it can be insanely OP. Personally, my best attachments for it are the stubby grip, the compensator, the green laser, and the reflex sight, although basically any medium slash close range sight would do on that gun, but it's just really good with those attachments, and that makes it so the recoil is virtually non-existent, so I do strongly recommend this gun, and I think it would just generally help you do better. So finally, in the number one spot, I've decided to put the RPK 74 because before today I actually didn't really rate this gun and I didn't know it was that good a gun. I never used it. I only had like I don't know 20 50 kills with it so obviously it didn't exactly appeal to me but when I tried it in game today I actually just it blew my mind how OP it was. It's rank 88 so obviously it does take a while to unlock but tied in with its really high damage and easy to manage recoil it's just so insane. 
you can do so much with it. I'm pretty sure it's about 4 or 5 shot kill and it goes well with a lot of recoil reducing attachments like the compensator and the stubby grip so personally I think this is the best gun in the game. I don't know if you guys disagree but yeah you can just do so much with it and I'm actually looking forward to using it a bit more. I mean I am usually a sniper but I'm always like wanting to try out new stuff in the game that I don't really do much because I'm just waiting for that massive update that's going to come out soon. I'm really hyped for that so either way that's been the top five so I really hope you guys enjoyed that video. I definitely enjoyed making it so I would appreciate it if you could leave a like but other than that let me know what your opinions are on the best gun in the game because I'd be really happy to just hear what you guys think. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to subscribe if you are new and you did enjoy and yeah it's been Pokey and I'm out. Peace.